Seated. Our sermon today is taken from Acts chapter 28, verses 1 through 10, and I would invite you to turn with me in your Bibles to Acts chapter 28. We are very, very close to the end, obviously, of the book of Acts. We've been tracking the way that Jesus continued to build up his church, and in particular over the past few weeks, we've been seeing the way that the Lord worked through the Apostle Paul, who uh, has just uh, been in a shipwreck. He warned the people he was with not to act foolishly, and they did not heed his advice, but uh, the Lord gave him the lives of everyone on board. Now he's been shipwrecked on an island called Malta in the middle of the Mediterranean. We're going to find out what the Lord did on the island of Malta while he was there and see as he continues on to Rome. Just to let you know, um, after uh, we're done with the book of Acts, I plan on doing a series on Christian ethics, uh, teaching through the Ten Commandments, um, once again, uh, setting before us (coughs) how it is we're supposed to live our lives as Christians in a world that's very confused about that right now. And then after that, we will be doing a book of the Old Testament. Uh, But in the meantime, let's turn our attention to the Lord God and let's ask for his help in uh, understanding what it is he has to tell us. Please join me. Sovereign, merciful Lord, I pray that you would be the light of our minds now, that you would take away the veil that's always there in the mind of the natural man as he reads your word. He may understand the, the words in their technical meanings, But, oh, Lord, unless you open our eyes and take away that veil and give us the the inner light that we need, we'll never see Christ in your word, never be able to close with him, and certainly we will never grow in grace.